Good evening, everyone. How are you? Are you ready for action? <clears> okay. <throat> hey. Let's begin. Buenas noches. Este es el programa nacional de inglés para el trabajo, modalidad online, beginner three. Welcome to your English class. Today is Thursday, March the 23rd, day 14. Good etiquette at the workplace. Okay. General objective. This is the specific objective. And uh, this is the class objective. Students will be able to provide oral and written instructions and guidelines about etiquette in the workplace. Okay. In the agenda tonight, we have good and bad habits, good manners, and etiquette, good etiquette at work, and discussion. Okay, we have seven people present. So let's go to attendance. Alison Andrea Serrano. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Anna Geraldine Mena. Barbara Azucena Rivas. Blanca Flor Jimenez. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present. Excellent. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Denis Fernando Flamenco. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present teacher. Excellent, nice. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Excellent, very good, my friend. Jose Andres Martinez. Katy Briseida Hernandez. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Excellent. Very good. Olga Tatiana Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Oliver Van Beethoven. No, Oliver Van Trigueros. Okay. Not here, right? Omar Alexander Chavez. No. Roberto Carlos Gámez. Present teacher. Voy de camino. Uh -huh. Okay. Drive carefully. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Excellent. Nice. Susana Andrea Urbina. William Boris Rocky. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's begin. We're going to start working on good and bad habits. Good and bad habits. The purpose is to discuss good and bad habits. We're going to be discussing these questions. First, what is a habit? What do you think is a habit? Habit, habit. No, that's a hobby. A habit. Lo que hacemos siempre. Yeah, a routinary activity that is personal. Mm -hmm. Something repetitive that becomes personal. It's a habit. Can be good, can be bad. We're going to be discussing the two. Good habits, bad habits. Okay. These are the questions that you have to discuss. Can you list five good habits? Can you list five bad habits? 
Why do we need to cultivate good habits? Why do, do we have to stay away from bad habits? Teacher, what is stay away from? Alejarnos de. <laughs> stay away from. Why do we have to stay away from bad habits? Okay. So, my dear ones, let's go to the groups and let's discuss these questions. Okay. Two groups. The groups are opening. Please join. Ya la logran ver. Yes. Ok. Hoy sí. Discuss the following question. Number one. Can you list five good habits? Um, for example, oh, say, say good morning. Yes. Yes. Oh, there. Day a shower every day. Yes. Day a shower. Say say thank you for a favor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Correct. Okay. Other opinion? Creo que se dice este buen apetito, ¿verdad? Oh, buen provecho. Ajá. Yes, say bon appetit to other person when he had your food or your meal. Mm -hmm, yes. Mm, Other? ¿Cómo se dice cuando uno pasa y hay, o sea, y están hablando, pero uno dice con permiso? Eh, limpiar el cuarto sí, sí. podría ser un buen hábito. Clean the room. Yes, yes, yes. Clean, the, clean the room. Clean the room. Clean the room. Okay. When you go between two people that are speaking, you say, excuse me. Excuse me. And you go through the people. Ah, okay. Teacher, uh, cuando decimos con permiso en inglés, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Okay, number, yeah. number two. To be on time. Ah, can you repeat? To be on time. Being on time yes. is, is a good habit. Being on time. Yes. Yes. Other good habit? <laughs> Being on time is a good habit. What else? Help, help the other person. Help other people. Uh -huh. No put a customer or the person. Would you please repeat? Uh, no put attention at, at the customer. Ah, pay attention. Pay attention to the customer is a good habit. Paying attention is a good habit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Teacher, ¿cómo podríamos decir eh, lavarnos las manos wash, antes y después de comer? Wash our hands before and after meals. We wash our hands 
before and after meals. Okay. Brush your teeth before of meal. Brush your teeth after your meal. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. What else? Chiquirinos. Respect no, no. a person. <clears throat> Sorry. Give respect a person. Uh -huh. Show respect. Show respect. Show respect to someone is a good habit. No, no pay, not paying attention in class. Yeah, that's negative, right? It's bad. It's a bad habit. Not paying attention in class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. What else? Not pay attention the other people, bad habit. It's a bad habit not to pay attention to other people. Yes, correct. That's true. What else? Mm -hmm. Another bad, another bad habit. Arrive late to work. Arrive late at work. Mm -hmm. Arrive at work late. Mm -hmm. Arrive at work late. What else? Sleep a little. Go to bed late. Get up. Get up early. Okay, or go to bed late and get up late. The book agreed with the co-worker. The book agreed with the co-worker and work. Disagree? Do you disagree with the co-worker? Yeah. Uh -huh. Agree with a agree with a co-worker. Agree a worker, a co-worker. Uh -huh. Only that this you don't have you don't have the obligation to agree all the time, right? Sometimes you don't right. agree. Sometimes you have different opinions. So you cannot agree. You respect. Respect the person's opinion, but you don't have to agree. You say, hey, I respect your opinion, but I think in a different way. Okay. So honesty, okay. to show honesty is a good habit too. Okay. Because if you say you agree and you don't agree, it's a lie. <laughs> okay. It's a lie to say you agree and you don't agree in reality. Uh -huh. That's true. Okay. So those are good and bad habits. Why do we need to cultivate good habits? Why do we need to practice good habits? Why? Are good habits easy? Mm. Or are they difficult? What do you think? Are good habits easy or difficult? The chair. Uh, why do we need to cultivate good habits? I think so. This is important because uh, because good habit helps 
helps to to all people for for convivir, ¿cómo se dice? To live together. Convive together. To live live together. Live together for that is very important. Cultivate good habits. You have to cultivate or to practice good habits. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Very good. Another opinion, why is it necessary to practice good habits? What happens when you practice something? Does it become easier or more difficult? If you practice it. I had purpose. I had purpose the change in the lies. Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh, because of the purpose of change in life. Uh -huh. So if you practice something, it becomes easier. Right? Practice makes perfect. The more you practice, the more proficient. What's the meaning? The more you practice, the better you become at something. Okay? So that is the idea. Okay. Yeah. So, of course. I agree. Do I to have a good image with other people. To have a good image before other people. Yes. To have a, a better image before other people. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Now, why do we have to stay away from bad habits? Why do we have to keep a distance from bad habits? Yes, Angelitos. Okay, teacher. In my opinion, I I think uh, to stay away from bad habits is important to because because when the person or people uh, have bad habits, the the relationship is very difficult with other people yes. and when and when the people practice good habits the relationship is very good i agree yeah okay. it's true okay if someone drinks for example someone drinks um the relationship is difficult because the person can be violent uh, Stubborn, teacher, what is stubborn? Stubborn is testarudo. Testa, testa is head. Rudo is hard. De cabeza dura. Testa, rudo. It's from Italian. From Italian, testa, rudo. All right. So, stubborn. Stubborn. Stubborn is testarudo. So, if someone is drunk, someone may be, not necessarily, but may be stubborn. And then you cannot uh, work with someone who is stubborn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's true. And that is a bad habit, of course. Bad habit, using drugs, drinking, smoking, mm -hmm. swearing. Swearing is using foul language. Teacher, what is foul language? Dirty language. Dirty language. Okay, those words that on television you only hear beep, 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 because they cannot transmit those <laughs> words. Okay? That is a bad habit because yeah. it is offensive to hear that. Maybe they are not trying to offend you, but you are not used to that and that is offensive. So for that reason, uh, that is a bad habit and we should stay away from that. Use language profound is Prof bad habit. Yes, that is to, to use foul language. Foul is sucio, right? Foul, yes. foul. foul language. Uh -huh. Foul language, dirty language. Uh -huh. So we shouldn't 
you shouldn't use that type of language. Okay, that is the idea. Or mm -hmm. okay, excellent. Now, my dear Ninitos, let's go back to the main main room. Okay, teacher. There are eight people out. Uh, honestly, I don't know how many we are. Maybe 10. 10 people. Yeah. I think that that's it. 10 people. I was going to say, ah, today is Friday. But no, no, today is not Friday. Tomorrow is Friday. And we are only 10 today. So I don't know why. Because to, uh -huh, we have 13, hey, 13 we are. Ah, yes, in the groups there were only 10 people, but outside there were three. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Angelitos, study the following good and bad habits. Here they are in the, in the form of a question, but these are the good habits. Drink a lot of water. Wash my hands before and after meals. I think, I don't remember if it was Olguita who asked, or it was who, who was it? Someone asked about, teacher, how do you say, wash your hands, right? Wash my hands before and after meals, okay? Say nice things to your friends. Teacher, what is say nice things to your friends? Like for example, compliment them. They do a good job and you say, hey, congratulations. That was nice. Or uh, you like someone's shirt, but it's true that you like someone's shirt. It's not a lie. And then you say, wow, I love your shirt. It's nice. Where did you get it? And they tell you, oh, this is Delmer. Delmer? Yes, Del Mercado. Ah, okay, no problem. Yeah, it's beautiful. Where it comes from doesn't matter. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful shirt. Okay. Say nice things to your friends. Okay. Now, if you don't like it, keep quiet. Keep quiet. You don't have to say hey, I love your shirt. And obviously it's not true. It's a lie. So that is not a good, not a good thing. Now the other one, say good morning. Say good morning. Brush your teeth after meals. Brush your teeth. No, but say lie. Okay. Keep your things neat, organized. Neat means organized, clean, clean, organized. Take a shower daily. You say, teacher, take a shower. Take a shower, right? Take a shower daily. Some people take a shower only on Saturdays. And that is a bad habit. Okay? We have to take a shower every day. Now that it's hot, some people take a shower twice a day. Well, it's okay, but once a day is enough. Then tell the truth. Tell the truth. Be honest. Tell the truth. Okay. Many times the truth is offensive. And the people offend other people only and they, they say, it's the truth. It's the truth. Yes, but if nobody's asking you, keep it quiet. Okay? Nobody's asking. Why is it necessary to offend another person? 
not necessary. So if someone you see someone's tie and the tie is ugly, yeah, it's true that it's ugly, but you don't have to say, hey, what an ugly tie, because that is offensive. And the other person is your friend. So you only see the tie and keep quiet. Don't say, what a beautiful tie, but don't offend the person. Okay. Then the other one, get up early. Teacher, get up early. Yes, leave, get up. You're sleeping. Get up, right? Get up early. Read a good book. Read. Read a good book. Cultivate friendship. Teacher, how can I cultivate friendship? Call the person. Talk to the person. Say nice things. Share. If you are eating, share with your friend. Right? That is something nice. Share. Okay? Break. If you have an apple, cut the apple. Okay? Share. That is cultivate friendship. Give thanks. Hey, thank you very much. Now, bad habits. Tell lies. Procrastinate. Teacher, procrastinate. Do things in the last minute. Okay. The report is for 4 p.m. And you begin doing, I mean, typing the report five minutes to four. No, that's not right. Procrastinate. Don't leave for tomorrow what is for today, right? Or what, what you can do today. Procrastinate. Are you late, a late comer? Are you a late comer? Teacher, what is, what is a late comer? What's a late comer, Edwin? A late comer is someone that shows up late or someone that comes to work late, comes to class late. The class begins at 8 and the person comes at 8.30. The person is a late comer. Teacher, but I was working. Yes, of course. We are not saying that you were playing. What we're saying is that you come at 8.30, so you are a latecomer, right? We are describing the act of being late. So that's why we say latecomer. The other one, drink liquor. Liquor affects the character, okay? Smoke. Smoke affects other people because the smell is terrible and... Sometimes people are allergic to the smoke, so. Swear off. Swear off is use foul language, okay? Like some people say three good things and five bad things. So that is swear off. Do you speak up regularly? Okay, speak up. As in respondón, respondón, like the boss says, okay, fulanito, hurry up. I, put it, I, I, respondón, right? So speak up, speak up regularly. Okay. Argue with people, argue. Teacher, what is argue? Verbal fighting. Pelear verbal, verbalmente. Okay. No discutir. Discutir is hablar de. No. Fight. Pelear. Pelear. Okay. Argue. Argue with people. Okay. Then 
complain about everything. Quejarse de todo, right? Complain about everything. Complain about everything. Only me, only me. And the other people, only I have hands. And the other people, so complain, right? Complain. Get up late, get up late. Ten o'clock in the morning and oh, I'm sleep. Then on the other side, me tomorrow, <laughs> me tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. Tomorrow I don't have to get up early. It's Friday. I have a day off. Okay, so you say, teacher, I envy you. I get up late at six o'clock. No, not seven. No, I don't know. Maybe six or seven. So get up early. Get up late. Messi, are you Messi? And you say, no, I'm Cristiano Ronaldo. No, no, Messi is what? disorganized okay are you messy no i'm cristiano ronaldo no right are you messy i'm disorganized and the other one do you accuse others it's a bad habit boss boss fulanito is not working you say chute right <laughs> are you why do you have to be the devil? El diablo. <laughs> El acusador de los hermanos. So then you say, no, no, shouldn't. Shouldn't accuse other. If you see the other is not working, his problem with the company, not your problem. Do they pay you for accusing or do they pay you for working? For working. If the others work, excellent. The others don't work, their problem. That's why there are supervisors, right? Supervisors are checking. You are not a supervisor, don't complicate your life. Ah, if you're a supervisor, okay, that's your job. If you are a supervisor, yes, it's your job, okay? So, do you have questions about the good and bad habits? No. Okay, uh, we're not going to practice asking about the negative. So we're going to practice asking about these ones. Why not the other ones? Practice these ones. Do you drink a lot of water? Do you wash your hands before and after meals? Do you say nice things to your friends, etc. These ones. These ones, no. These ones, no. Teacher, why not? We don't want to incommodate people. No queremos incomodar a nadie. Estas no las vamos a preguntar. Okay? No vamos a decir, Edwin, are you messy? And Edward says, uh, 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 um, no, right? Uh -uh, no. So we practice okay. these ones. Okay? These ones, we, these ones, no. Okay, so let's go to the groups and practice these ones. Uh, no questions, right? No questions. Perfect, then let's go. Excellent, let's go my friends. The groups are opening. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Barbara and Jerry. Okay. In Carlito. Mm -hmm. Aquí está esta sombra. Eh, sí. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. 
si gustan, yo pregunto y ustedes van respondiendo, no sé. Sí, hagamos una pregunta porque todos tenemos que dar la opinión, uh -huh. ¿verdad? De lo que de los buenos, de los valores, de los buenos, de los buenos hábitos, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. pregunto usted la primera, como usted dijo. Y ahí vayan respondiendo uno por uno, pienso yo, o, o, sí, o en pareja. La opinión, ¿verdad? De... Ok. Do you drink a lot of water? Es como cuando uno llega a una persona, ¿verdad? Y se le ofrece tomar agua. Se le ofrece ¿verdad? agua. Creo que sí. Es is very important. The clients eh, es, eh, ¿cómo podría decirle? Se siente bien, a, a, bien atendido, ¿verdad? O, o, o importante en ese momento, ¿verdad? Que uno le ofrezcan que sea un vaso de agua, ¿verdad? O un cafecito. Do you wash my hands um, before and after meals? Nos lavamos las manos, era. My hand before and after meal. Después de comer, do you wax my hand before mm -hmm. after meal? Yes. Yes. Antes y después. Mm -hmm. Thank you, yes. Oh, yes, I do, ¿verdad? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you say nice things to your friends? Do you say nice to your friends? Como sería yes I do, como si le dice cosas bonitas a sus amigos. Igual, eh, frase amable, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Nice things, nice oh, things. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice, nice. 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 Thing. Do you say good morning? Yes. Good morning, good evening, mm -hmm. good afternoon, good night. Yes, I do. <laughs> do you brush your teeth after me? Do you brush? Lava, eh, do you brush? Lavarnos los dientes. La boca, ¿verdad? Los dientes, ¿verdad? Yes. Pues yes. eh, ¿Cómo sería al despertar? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Mm -hmm. Wake up. Yes, when I wake up. And wake up and... ¿También antes de dormir? Before going to bed. Before go. Today. Before, before going to bed. Dead. Before going to bed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. La siguiente sería, do you get your things neat? 
Do you care? The number do six. Do you six. keep your keep your things neat? Neat. Es como mantener aseado, verdad? Donde estamos o lo como somos, verdad? Dar aseado. ¿verdad? You se mantiene aseado. Yo soy excesiva con la limpieza. Sí, es con la limpieza que usted dice de la casa, de Kiopi, Kiopi, ¿verdad? Yes, I do. Mantener ordenado. Yes. Bueno. Number seven. Do you take a shower daily? Yes, yeah, I do. Yes, yes. I do. Yes. Yes. Do you? Okay. Do you tell the truth? Pues, y se trata de la honestidad, ¿verdad? Se habla, se habla siempre con la verdad. O... Yes. I honest with the people or co worker In the yes. family, yes, yeah, verdad. Mm -hmm. Yes. My friend, my work. Do you get up early? Get up early. Do you get up early? Get up. Hello. Cuando uno se levanta temprano. Este, continuamos la lectura. Sí, si gusta, si gusta, inicia tú ahora. Vaya, vale, entonces le pregunto a usted, Edwin. Do you drink a lot of water? Yes, I do. I try to drink it. Now, Katy, do you wash your hands before and after meals? Um, yes, I do. Okay. Um, Rolando, do you say nice thing to your friends? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I nice thing to I nice thing friends. Okay. Eh, Salvador Panta, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, le voy a preguntar yes. a Salvador entonces. Do you say good morning? Yes, I do. Salvador. Ok. Eh. Katy, do you brush? brush? You tea after meal? Yes, I do. Always. Mm. Edwin, do you keep your thing neat? Yes, I do. I try to keep my things neat. Uh, Rolando. Do you take a shower daily? Yes. Yes, I take a shower daily. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo que se llama? Salvador. No le veo el nombre aquí. Salvador Ever. Sí. Okay. Yes. Uh, Salvador. Do you tell the truth? Yes, I do. Edwin, do you get up early? Yes, I do. I always get up early. Okay. 
Patty, do you read a good book? No, I don't. <laughs> um, Rolando, do you cultivate friendship? Yes, I do. Um, Salvador, do you get pens? Yes, I do. We finish. Okay. That's Excellent. It. Do you have any questions? No, teacher. Okay. Excellent. So let's move on. We're going to practice this conversation. Sometimes we think about secretaries as those gorgeous uh, young girls helping us at the office. However, uh, they don't need to be young and they don't need to be very good looking. What they really need to be is talented, skillful, and they must know what they are doing in the office, right? So this lady looks very competent. She's old, but she knows what she's doing. So that is important, right? So let's see. Hi, Claudia, how are you? I'm, I'm doing fine, thanks. How about you? Things couldn't be better. Great, I'm glad to hear it. Claudia, our boss sent us a file. It's about good and bad habits. I saw it. What do you think about it? I guess she's right. We need to cultivate good habits. Why? If we are good workers, that's enough. I agree. But in order to be good workers, we need to have good habits. It's true. If we are organized, we do a better job. Exactly. I see you got the point. Yes, thank you. I'll study the document now. Great, have fun. I guess I will. You too. Okay, again. Hi, Claudia. How are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. How about you? How about you? Things couldn't be better. Great. I'm glad to hear it. Claudia, our boss sent us a file. It's about good and bad habits. I saw it. What do you think about it? I guess she's right. We need to cultivate good habits. Why? If we are good workers, that's enough. I agree. But in order to be good workers, we need to have good habits. It's true. If we organize, we do a better job. Exactly. I see you got the point. Yes, thank you. I'll study the document now. Great, have fun. I guess I will. You too. Okay, questions about the conversation. No question. Okay, then let's go and practice the conversation in the groups. So if you have any have any questions, you ask me about. The groups are opening. Please join.
Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Alguien que pueda compartir la presentación. Voy a, voy a intentar lo que permite. Yes, thank you. I studied the document new. Great, have fun. I get a I will you do. Okay, good. Okay. ¿Quién me sigue? Continúo. Yo. Okay. Hi Claudia, how are you? I doing fine, thanks. How about you? Things could be better. Great English to hear it. Claudia, our boss sent us a file. It's about good and bad habits. He say it. What do you think about it? I wish she write. We need to cultivate good habits. Why? If we are organized. Mommy. We do water Exactly. I see. You go to the point. Yes, thank you. I guess students to the document now. Great. I have fun. I guess I will. You too. Next, compañero. Okay. Um, Gerald, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, Gerald. Voy a empezar yo entonces. Hi, Claudia. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thanks. How about you? Seems couldn't be, be better, better. Great. I'm glad to hear it. Claudia, our bot Sam as a view. It's about good and bad habits. I saw it. What do you think about it? I guess she's right. We need to call cultivate good habits. Why? Like we are going work at that and now? I agree, but in order to be good workers, we need to have good habits. It's true. I we are organization we do a do a better job 
organize. 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 We do. Mm -hmm. Organize. We do a better job. Job. Exactly. I see you got the point. Yes. Thank you. I study the document now. And study. And study. What? And study the document now. I study the document now. I guess I will. You too. Ay, más abajo no lo veo. No sé si tiene más. No. No, ok. Next. Ahora empiezo yo, ¿verdad? Sí. Ay, Claudia. Sí, empieza usted. Ay, Claudia. How are you? I don't find. Thanks. How, how about you? Sing, holding be better. Great. <laughs> Great. I'm, I'm glad to hear it. Hear it? To hear it? To hear it. Claudia, or Bush, or Bush, sing as a fight. It's Our... about. It's about go. No sé si alguien quiere hablar o si escucho yo. It's about good and bad habit. Is so it. Habits. 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 ¿Cómo? Habits. Habits. No, con J. Habits. Con J. La H suena como J. Habits. Habits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good and bad habits. Mm -hmm. Good and bad habits, I say it. What do you oh. think about? I guess she right. I, I guess she's right. I guess she's right. I guess she, Sí, ¿cómo es? I guess she's, she's, right. she's right. We need to cultivate good habits. Why? If we are go worker, good that workers, is now good, good workers, good worker, good, that good, now, good worker, good, good, good. worker. Mm -hmm. Good worker, that enough. Enough, enough. Enough. That's no. enough. That enough. Enough. No. Con F, no. F al final, enough. No. That's e enough. Echo, that's it. I agree, but in I agree. Under. I agree. I agree, but in order to be good workers, we need to have good habits. It is true. If we are organized, we do a better job. Exactly. I see you got the point. Point. Yes. Thank you. I will study the document now. Great. Have fun. Ya, ya no miro nada más, compañero. ¿Y hoy? Uh, I guess. <laughs> ok. I guess I will too. <laughs> I guess Mal, I will. Malí, Andrea. ¿Qué es eso? Sorry. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> Eh, 
el Gerald. There are eight people out. Nine. Ten people, but we are like sixteen. One more, okay. Yeah, we're sixteen. So, good manners. The purpose is to discuss good manners. Teacher, what is good manners? Buenos modales. Bueno, modales, can, could, will, may, might, no. Modal auxiliaries, no, okay. Good manners is, okay. For example, good manners at the table. When you are eating, you don't put your elbows on the table, right? You are eating, put the, ta the elbows on the table, or you don't get the chicken. Okay. That is bad manners. Or okay, it's bad manners. Or get the dish. Bad manners. Okay. So good manners is using the knife, the fork, right? Good manners. At the table, at the table. But good manners good manners would be like when, for example, you say good morning, you see a person, if there is a, a lady that is going to pass, let the lady pass. If there is any other person that is going to pass, comes before you, stop, let the person pass and then you pass. Good manners, okay? Don't crash, don't crash, don't bump into the person. So that is uh, good manners. Say hello, say good morning, say goodbye. Say excuse me. Say excuse me, be nice, right? Be nice, okay. Mm -hmm. Good manners, okay. Second question, can you list Five manners, five good manners. Number one, be polite. Number two. Always arrive on time. Be on time. Mm -hmm. Another one. Be kind. Oh, well. I will say thank you. Say thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Yes. What else? Ask for things. Don't demand things. Ask for things. Can you, could you please give me this? May I have this? Don't say Give me that. I want that. That is rude. Teacher, yes. for example, the people pass errands. For example, is the the cow get nom 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 nom. Uh, is bad. Is bad habit. 
manners. It's, it's bad manners when you're in a house. Uh -huh. <laughs> Cabal. Right? Use a knife. <laughs> Sometimes the chick, no, the chicken, no. The beef is really tough. So, mm, right? So it's very tough. So what do you do? Knife. Yeah. Okay. Use a knife and a fork. Knife and a fork. Chew with the mouth closed. Right? Not, be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle. Be nice. Gentle is gentil. It's nice. Teacher, gentil is not uh, the opposite of judíos y gentiles. No, no. No, no. That's another story. Okay. Gentle means kind, nice, polite. Okay. That is gentle. So be gentle, be nice, be polite, be patient. Okay. It's difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult to be patient, to be nice. Especially if we are Malia, so, so it's more difficult. Okay, so then what else? What's another good man? A smile and say hello. Excellent, of course, Oliver. Smile, okay. smile and say hello. Yes. Yes. Some people you say, good morning. And they in, in dog, in dog language, they answer. And you say, ah, okay. In dog language, that is good morning. Okay. So. Yes. Goodbye, neighbor. Ah, okay. In, God, in, in dog language? Yes, but attitude. You say, good morning, neighbor. Okay. Didn't understand your dog language, but it's okay. Yes. It's good morning, I suppose. Okay, so you have to suppose that it's good morning. Okay. Many say, people with problems, many people with problems. This attitude. Stress. Have, 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 Sometimes stress. Yes. What people are worried about their work, about many things. So they are under stress and then they are angry. In Greek, empurrados. Okay, so. <laughs> in Greek. Yeah, in Greek, empurrados. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so no, that is bad. Okay. Why is it necessary to show good manners? Angelitos, why is it necessary to show good manners, to demonstrate good manners, to practice good manners? Why? Why is it necessary? When we, when we have a, a important meeting. Yeah, that's an occasion, of course. Sure. To if to necessary, be... Uh, but be good. People. Yes, good people show good manners. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's to true. To respect. Ah, yes, of course. If you are, I mean, show good manners, you are respected. True. Yes, it's true. You respect and they respect you. Yeah, it's true. Excellent. What else? Mm -hmm. For example, I put here Don Barry Obama because Don Barry Obama talked to the people always with a big smile. And he said, oh, yeah, okay. He was nice. Don Barry Obama was nice. So in that case, maybe he, he is not the, the best president in the world, but he was a good president. At least from afar, from a distance, I can say that he was good. I was I did I was not in the states at that time, so I don't know. I suppose only. Right. Okay. Let's see. How do people feel when you treat them well? If you treat people well, how do they feel? 
how do they react? I think they feel nice. Yeah, they feel nice. They feel important. And they react nicely. Mm -hmm. If you smile and you say, good morning. And some people, you go to the office and they say, hey, what do you want? Hey, good afternoon. I need to ask you a question. Yes. What? What about? Um, are you open now? Yes, the office opens at two. It's three o'clock. Ah, okay, excellent, nice. I need uh, this and this and this document. Um, come tomorrow. And you cannot give them to me today. I said tomorrow. Are you bad of your ears? Yeah, I have problems in one. Okay, cannot give them to me today. Mm. Wait here. Okay, and they they do it. So I mean, sometimes it's difficult, but sometimes you can be persistent and nice, right? Okay. So if you treat them well, they feel. Important. What are the benefits of showing good manners to others in your personal life? Teacher, I don't have private life now. No, in general, in your life. What what are the benefits for you if you show good manners? What benefits do you get? What are the positive things that you see in your life? If you are polite, if you are nice. That makes me feel good. You feel good. One. Yes. What else? What else? People feel good. And they can be your friends. Right? Ah, Don Fulanito, yeah, he's very nice. Ah, Don Fulanito, he's an ogre. Okay. So, and what about in the, for the company? What are the good things for the company if you are nice? What are the benefits for the company? Does the company get benefits if you are nice? Okay, okay, okay. Customer fidelity. Customer fidelity. If you are nice, the people come to the company again and again and again. Right? So they, they say, oh, but it's nice. So that is one of the things. So, what benefits do you know about being nice? Peace, inner peace. You are in peace, right? What else? So, what else? Mm -hmm. Angelitos? No more benefit? Well, I, I think the for me the principal is healthy for my life. In my work, I I, I work very well. And in my house. Uh, I, 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 I smile always. Then, and I, I don't have many problems. I think so happy. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And the people are happy when you are home. Because if you, I know, I've been a logro, right? Yeah. <laughs> 
but it's Greek. Uh -huh, but it has Screech. Screech. And when you say Scrooge is right. And when you <laughs> yes. say Scrooge. So, but if you are nice, the people say, hey, yeah. he's coming. Okay. And they will. He's coming. Uh -huh, exactly. Yes. So it's true. That is important. Okay. Excellent. Now, identify the good manners. Put a check next to the good manners. Let's do it together. Show respect, show courtesy, say good morning, open the door to a lady, don't interrupt others, don't shout, don't argue, be gentle, talk a lot, be irreverent, talk about yourself, explain how good you are. Okay, so tell me which ones are good minds. Show respect. Show respect. Yes, you're right. Show respect. Another one. Show courtesy. Show courtesy. Uh -huh. Show courtesy or courtesy. Yes. Uh -huh. Another one. Say good morning. Say good morning. Okay. What else? Open the door to a lady. Open the door to a lady. Yes. What else? Don't interrupt, Don't interrupt others. Yeah. Don't interrupt others. Mm -hmm. What else? Don't shout. Don't shout. Don't shout. Some people shout. <laughs> Don't shout. Don't shout. Another one? Show. Don't argue, right? Don't argue. Don't, Don't argue. argue. Mm -hmm. Don't argue. Don't, Don't argue. argue. Don't argue. Okay, another one? Be gentle. Be gentle. Okay, talk a lot. No. Talk a lot now. No. Be irreverent. No. Be irreverent. No. Talk about yourself. No. 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 Explain how good you are. Oh, no. In my office, I am the best because no. everything happens because I do it. If I don't do it, the company goes down. No. No. Mm -mm. No. no. no, that's not good. Excellent. Well, good names. I uh, give the seat. Uh, could, could you repeat, please? The other example, the the. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama esto lo que estamos viendo? Modales. Uh, manners, manners. Manner is the give the seat. O seat, no sé cómo se dice asiento. Ah. Give up your seat. Uh -huh. Give up to see Give up the, the to a lady. woman's ah, embarazada, no sé cómo se dice. Pregnant or not pregnant? Pregnant, uh -huh. pregnant is embarazada, pregnant. Yes. But uh -huh. give your seat to a pregnant or not pregnant lady. Ah, también. O, o the other, the the person three, three, eight, de la tercera edad. Ah, elderly, the elderly. The elderly. Mm -hmm. So if you mm -hmm. see me, you have to give me the seat. Because mm -hmm. I am third. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> elderly. Okay. So, like Jimmy Carter. Jimmy Carter, yes. You give him the seat because he's old. Okay. Mr. Jimmy Carter, please sit down. 
Okay. Let's see. Let's practice this conversation. Good morning, Susie. You look beautiful today. Oh, thank you, Mike. You always say such nice things. There aren't so many gentlemen nowadays. My mom taught me to be nice to everybody. She said that it was like your signature. She's right. Now you don't see so many men giving up their seats to a lady, opening the door for a lady, or accommodating the seat for a lady. It's true, and it's a shame. It's a shame. Men should be nice to ladies. Well said. I agree with you. Well, I need to get going. Take care, my darling. You too, Mike. Have a nice day. Okay. Again, good morning, Susie. You look beautiful today. Oh, thank you, Mike. You always say such nice things. There aren't so many gentlemen nowadays. My mom taught me to be nice to everybody. She said that it was like your signature. She's right. Now you don't see so many men giving up their seats to a lady, opening the door for a lady or accommodating the seat for a lady. It's true and it's a shame. Men should be nice to ladies. Well said, I agree with you. Well, I need to get going. Take care, my darling. You too, Mike. Have a nice day. Okay, questions? No questions. No questions. Excellent. So let's go to the to the groups to practice. The rooms are opening. Please join. Okay. Alison, William, Barbara, Alison. Comenzamos. Um, okay. Good morning, Susie. You you look beautiful today. Oh, thank you, Mike. You always say such nice things. There aren't so many getling. No waste day. My mom taught ta ta me to be taught me. Be, ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Taught me. Taught me. Taught me. Taught me. Taught, taught me. My mom taught me it, to be nice to everybody. She said that, that it was like your signature. She right. Now you don't see so many men give out their giving sums up. to a lady. Giving up. Giving up their seats. Seat. 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 Um, to a lady. Opening the door for a lady or accommodating the seat for a lady. 
It's room and, and it's uh, a ch shame. Men shame is a shame. It's a shame. Men, men, door for a lonely or a accommodating the seat for a lady. That's it. It's true. And it is a shame. Me should be a nice to ladies. We'll say, I agree with you. Well, I need to get going. Take care, my darling. You too, Mike. Have a nice day. Ok, si sí, okay. gusta, Olga, intercambiamos. Ok. Good morning, Susie. You look beautiful today. Oh, thank you, Mike. You always say such nice things. There aren't so many gentlemen to look nowadays. My mom told me to be nice to every everybody. She said that it was like your signature. That's right. Now you don't see so many men giving up their seats to a lady, mm -hmm. opening or couch. Teacher, ¿cómo se pronuncia esa? A uh, a conf. Accommodating. A con Accommodating. Accommodating the is set for the a lady. Seat. Seat for the a lady. For a lady. For a lady. For a lady. It's a true. And X and Shane, we should be nice to ladies. Well, say it a uh, great. Well said. With you. Well said. I agree with you. Well agree. said. Well said. I agree with you. Well, I need to get going. Take care, my darling. You to Mike uh, had a neat uh, day. Have a nice day. You have too, Mike. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Thank you. Next. 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 Okay. Everybody. She say that it was like your signatures. She's right. No, no, you don't see so many men give 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 Opening the door for lady or accommo accommod accommodating accommodating the seat for lady for a lady. It's true, and it's a shame. Men should be nice to lady. Should, should. should men should, should be, be nice to nice ladies to ladies. To ladies. Two ladies. We will say, uh, I agree with you. Well, I need to get going. Take care, my darling. My darling. darling. My darling. My darling. You too, my. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Yeah. Have a nice day. Okay. Nine people out. Nine people out. 
אוקיי. Okay. People will be out in a moment. Okay. Let's see, Angelitos. We have what's netiquette? Ideas, what is netiquette? Etiquetas. Ah, uh, you have an idea, but no. What is netiquette? Netiquette is the etiquette in the web. Etiquette on the web. Mm -hmm. Yes, etiquette online. Online, yes. Etiquette online. What's the meaning? Etipe, etiquette when you are surfing on the internet. When you are on the internet, you have to use certain rules, certain etiquette. So that is, that's what is called net etiquette. And you are a netizen, no citizen, but netizen. So why do we need to follow the rules when online? When we are online, why do Not we need to follow the rules? There are rules. We will see in a moment some of the rules. Don't be sarcastic. Don't use foul language. Respect your turn. Um, Respect the yeah. privacy, privacy of other people. Yes. Use a real identity. Don't fake your identity. Don't send spam to people. Don't send commercials, okay. advertising to people. So that is part of netiquette. Okay. When you send an email, say good morning, say hello, right? Be nice, be polite, use formal language. Don't use abbreviations, part of the netiquette. Okay. What happens if you don't follow the rules? If you don't follow the rules, what happens? Maybe in Spanish you have seen baneado, right? It's because it comes from the verb ban. You are banned. What's the meaning? They don't permit that you enter. They don't allow you entrance. Okay? You cannot participate. So if you are not polite, etc., they are you are not accepted in the groups. Okay? So it's important to be nice. Okay. What are some rules of netiquette that we need to follow? I listed some. Do you remember? Don't use abbreviations. Don't use abbreviations. Mm -hmm. Don't send spam. Don't send spam. Respect the privacy, respect the time of the people, don't make offensive comments, don't be a racist, racist, right? Don't be a racist. Okay. 
also don't be intolerant. So these are some of the things. Okay. Well, which ones did you know before? All of those, right? The ones you said. Check over here. These are some of the rules. Study the following rules of netiquette. Represent yourself well. Respect other people's privacy. If you wouldn't say it directly, don't say it online. Si en la vida real no lo diría, no lo diga en línea. Right? Okay. If you wouldn't say it directly, don't say it online. Follow the rules. Follow the rules. Check facts before publishing them. Don't spread lies. Okay? No promueva las mentiras. Ni conspiraciones que no existen. <laughs> right? Don't promote lies. Check the facts. Revise los hechos antes de publicarlos. Check the facts before publishing them. Okay. Respect people's time and boundaries. Okay. Teacher, what are boundaries? Limits. Borders. Fronteras. Right. Respond as promptly as you can. Respond as promptly as you can. Keep your information up to date. Don't use sarcasm. Don't bully others. Don't bully others. Don't send spam. Be nice. Use clear, clean language. Avoid vulgarity. Avoid vulgarity. These are rules of netiquette. Some of the rules of netiquette. Again, don't use capital letters. Okay. Don't use capital letters because that is shouting. Say, call the people by their name. Okay. So that would be nice. All right, let's read this. This you're going to practice in the groups. Read the following text with a partner. Do you agree with the writer? It says, there are several rules that people who surf the web must know in order to behave as nice as possible when online. One of them is keeping a low profile, low profile, and not invading somebody else's space. The reason is that just as in a face-to-face -face situation, we need to treat others with respect and courtesy. If we do so, we will have a nice experience when surfing the web. Another thing that we need to know is that we need to use real information about ourselves. We must not pretend to be somebody else because we can get into trouble. We can choose someone who is banned or not well liked by the rest. Then we will be ignored or banned as well. When people use netiquette properly, they get a better reception from the others and is welcome to participate in discussions and comments. Netiquette has helped establish a safe environment online. And in order to keep it so, we must play by the rules as well. Okay, question? Okay, let's go to the groups and practice. Practice reading. The groups are opening. Please read.
pueden verlo. Sí, se ve bien, gracias. Ok. Um... ¿Quién empieza? ¿Lo leeríamos todo completo o por partes? Por partes, diría yo. Ok, comienzo. There are several rules that people put the wet must know in order to behave as nice as possible. Mm -hmm. Behave. Behave as as nice as possible when online. One of them is keep clippy, a love pro, profile and not in in bad in bad invading invading some some body somebody else's space somebody space. Next. The reason is that just as in a face-to-face -face situation, we need to Eat treat others. others with respect and courtesy. If we do so, we will have a nice experience. When surfing the web. Next. Another thing that we need to know is that we need to use spread information <laughs> about ourselves. Hello. Thank you. We must not pretend to be some somebody else because because we can get into trouble trouble into trouble into trouble we can choose some who is better or not will like be, be, be by the rest the, by the rest by the rest by the rest then we will by no or banner as well. Next. When people use netiquette properly, they must order the behave as nice as possible when online. One of them is keeping a low profile and not invading some somebody else's space their reason wisdom. is that just that just wisdom the reason just, that just wisdom is just as in, in a face-to-face -face situation, we need to treat others with respect and courtesy. Respect and courtesy. If we do so, we will have a nice experiences when surfing the web. Another thing that we need to know is that we need to use real information about ourselves. We must not pretend to be somebody else because we can get into trouble. We can choose someone who is banned or not well liked by the rest. Then we will be ignored or banned as well. When people use netiquette properly, they get a better reception from the others and is welcome to participate in discussions and comments. Netiquette has helped 
establish a safe environment online. And in order to keep it so, we must play by the rules as well. Okay, excellent. It says, good etiquette at work. The purpose is to discuss good etiquette at work. Read the article on workplace etiquette guidelines. Then identify the key details to answer the comprehension questions. Good etiquette at the workplace. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you had an emergency, that is okay. However, habitual latecomers are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority and report the reason why you are late. Etiquette is also important when you have to communicate with employees or clients in any part of the world. In those cases, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and concisely. You also need to include all the important details. You should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is very, is very essential. Uy, very essential. It's essential, not very. Okay. Muy esencial no existe. Okay. It's essential. Sorry. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Etiquette guidelines are important when you are celebrating with your coworkers. If you get a call when you are eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Do not talk loudly while eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chew. You should remember that your behavior and manners are under observation. Following etiquette guidelines can play a very vital role, doing another very vital role. So can play a vital role, can play a vital role for future promotions. Okay. So this is the reading. Okay. We need to check the understanding. But before that, uh, who wants to read the first part? One volunteer to read this part. Good. 
Don't be, don't be afraid. You can do it. Me, teacher. Please, please go ahead. There are many workplace etiquette guidelines, but the most important is to be punctual to your office. If you are late because you have an emergency, emergency? that is okay. However, habitual late commerce are never appreciated in any organization. If you get to your office on time, you show that you are responsible and you respect the organization. If you know that you will be late, then a good etiquette guideline will be to call the concerned authority yes, and, and report the reason why you are late. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Who wants to read this part, this section? I try to read. Okay, thank you. Etiquette is also important when you head home to communicate with employees in the east or crying in any part of the world. In this case, it is necessary to have good knowledge of the workplace, email etiquette of other countries. In the official emails, you need to mention the subject clearly and be concise. 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 You also need to include all the important details. You show use formal and grammatic grammatical correct language for email. Okay, thank you. Yes, Edwin, you continue. In addition, knowledge of telephone etiquette in the workplace is essential. We have to speak on the telephone at some point during our daily work. Be polite when you talk to your employees or your supervisor. Listen to what they say carefully and do not interrupt. Be sure your voice is clear when you speak to avoid wrong interpretations. Excellent, thank you very much. Who wants to read the last part? Here, finish here. Hey, teacher. Thank you, please go ahead. The ticket key the lines are important even when even when you even, are severe, even, e even, even where even when you are celebrating 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 with your co-workers co -work, co if you get a um, a call when you a call. A call when you are eating. Say excuse me. And then receive the call. Mm -hmm. The call. The call. Do not talk loudly. Long loudly will eating eating while, while eating. While, while eating eating. And remember to close your mouth when you chill. Chew. Chew. When you chew. You chew. You chew. You chew. Should remember. remember. Should remember. Should remember that you build have your and mm -hmm. money 
and manual are under observation. Following etiquette. Guidelines, Guidelines. can Guidelines can play a viral, viral, vital role, viral role, viral role for future promotion, future future promotions, future promotion. Excellent, very good. Now let's go over the the option. It says, if you know you are late, you should what? A, compensate the time. B, call the person you report to. C, not do anything about it. Compensate the time. There is, there is A, compensate the time. Yeah, I agree with you, but in the moment, Call the person you report to. You compensate the time later. Okay. Number two. What's a tip to apply in official email? Express the subject clearly. Yes, exactly. Which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone. Interrupt the other speaker. Excellent. The last one. If you receive a call while you're eating with coworkers, you should. Teacher, letter A, letter C. call in continuity eating. Another letter one, C. letter leave the table and answer the call. Leave the table and answer the call. Hi, my dear niñitos are very tired. Tomorrow is Friday, today is Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tomorrow is Friday. Okay. So, I'm going to call roll. Let's go to call roll. I know people are tired. People are tired and they want to sleep. So, but before that, let's finish with this. Good, decide. T, true, F, false. Okay. T, true, F, false. Good etiquette at work is a necessity. True. True. Oh. Yeah, it's true. Customers get offended easily. False. True. It's that true. is true. It's true. You are, if you are not respectful, you can offend others. It's true. true. It's true. Good etiquette should be practiced only with strangers. It's false. False. Good etiquette is necessary only at work. False. 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 Good etiquette can be the greeting card of the company. That is true. True. Treating your co-workers with respect is important. True. It's true. true. Following the policies of the company is not an option. That is false. It's true. Okay, following the, the policies, la poli Seguir las políticas de la compañía no es una opción. Right? It's not an option. That's true. Good etiquette begins at home. It's true. It's true. You can start practicing 
good etiquette with your friends. No. True. Good etiquette is global. It's true. It's true. true. You must be an example of good etiquette. True. True. Mm -hmm. All right. Excellent. So let's show punctuality. Let's go to attendance. Oh. Alison Andrea Serran. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Anna Ger well. Geraldine Mena. Present. Excellent. Barbara Susana Rivas. Eh, Blanca Flor Jiménez. Blanca Flor. No. Carla Jasmine Rivera. Present. Excellent. Carlos Jonathan Garcia. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Denis Fernando Flamenco. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Excellent. Gilberto Benito Santa Maria. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Excellent. Jose Andres Martinez. Jose Andres. No. Katy Briseida Hernández. Present. Good night. Good night. Noé Gustavo Núñez Cardona. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Excellent. Olga Tatiana Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Oliver Van Trigueros. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Excellent. Omar Alexander Chávez. Roberto Carlos Gómez. Rolando Danilo Sánchez. Present teacher. Excellent. Nice. Salvador Alberto Sorian. Present teacher. Excellent. Susana Andrea Urbina. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. William Boris Rocky. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ok. Hoy se queda conmigo Olguita, Olga Tatiana Portillo. The other people, thank you very much for attending. See you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good, good night. Okay. Good night. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good evening, Olguita. How can I help you? Teacher, solo no me quedó claro lo de netiquette. Son como normas, entonces. Son, sí, son reglas de convivencia en línea. En línea, ah, ok. Es, son para el uso en internet. En internet específicamente. Específicamente en internet. Por eso ah, okay. net, net es red. Etiquette, okay. netiquette. Etiquette en la red, ya, yeah. netiquette. Sí, en... solamente eso y quizás de la plataforma, cada cuánto sube usted este, las notas, porque te he entendido que revisa cada semana, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, a más tardar este viernes, que es mañana, tendríamos que tener hasta qué tarea terminada. La tercera semana. Ah, ok. Y, ah, ok, ya lo entiendo, ya lo entiendo. Eso sería, y no sé si usted puede ver cómo voy a las asistencias. Asistencia. Veamos.
En asistencia lleva 50, 54% lleva. Ay, no este, sé si va a alcanzar. La mayoría lleva su mismo número casi. Solamente Gil, okay. Don Gilberto lleva 60 y Alison lleva 60% también. De ahí Daniel lleva 57, Roberto Carlos 58, Orlando 60, el máximo 60 ahorita. Okay. Entonces bueno, usted tiene que... 54%, entonces solo trate de no faltar ya en lo que falta, porque se faltaría mañana y toda la otra semana. Ajá, Yo creo que le llega, ya le, le llega al porcentaje sí, pues, que no si estás no faltar teacher. lo que pasa es que este yo trabajo en Santa Tecla y entonces cuando hay tráfico Dios mío ni saliendo mi hora de salida son cinco y media pero el problema es que a veces salgo cinco y diez pero es el día en que más tarde vengo por pero, el tráfico ¿verdad? pero, pero de, igual, de Santa Tecla se mueve para dónde para Yutuxtepec Yutuxtepec híjole entonces Santa me da problema Ajá, el problema es salir de Santa Tecla y cuando por lo menos ayer estuvo cerrado los, los próceres, creo que era, ahí por metro y híjole, fue un la desastre total. La 49, creo que estuvo cerrada la 49. La 44. Sí, la ruta 44 pasa por ahí. Uh -huh. Entonces esta me da un problema horrible y a veces sí no, no alcanzo, por eso escribo que no voy a estar a tiempo y que cuando llegue me conecto. Pero Ajá. sí, yo procuraré no faltar, teacher. Sí, pero aún, si va a llegar tarde, no importa, entra. Hay que conectarse. ¿eh? Porque de ahí para allá le empiezan a contar los minutos hasta el final. Ahora, si, okay. si usted no dice, ah, vine tarde, mejor no entro. Entonces, perdió esos minutos. Tal vez tenía por lo menos 30 minutos que podía sumar. Y ya no lo sumó. Sí. Pero lo mejor sería quedarse, bueno, conectarse y tratar Mayor de... Tiempo uh -huh. Y eso okay. le va a ayudar para sumar minutos. Uh -huh. Vale. Okay. Está bien, Solamente entonces. Ok, de acuerdo. Entonces, go and do the homework. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Take care. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Discuss the following questions. What type of behavior earns you good friends? Politeness, sincerity, tolerance, and respect normally earn, earn you good friends. If you are tolerant, you're patient, you're respectful, you're bound to have many good friends. But it, it's up to you. You can be nice, you can be polite, you can be tolerant, and you can be patient with your friends, and they will like you. You can be intolerant, rude, disrespectful, irreverent with them, and of course, they will hate you. So life is just like that. Now, but the question is, who should you be nice to? Well, you should be nice to everybody. Not only to your boss, no, to your colleagues, to the person that is cleaning. She's helping you, she's cleaning. To the waiter that brings you the food, okay? Sometimes people say, ah, these people are not important. All the people are important. All the people are equally important. Nobody is better than anybody else. In fact, uh, the people that we think are not so important are the most important. So for that reason, even La Tortillera, she's important. Because can you eat without tortillas? No, I don't think so. So she is important. Everybody's important. So we should treat 
all of the people as nicely as we can. Sometimes there are moments that we are under stress and sometimes the Indian comes out. Yes, it's true. But let's face it, the best is to be nice, okay? Can friendship be forever? No, no, no. Sometimes friendships break because maybe one friend changes neighborhood, moves out of this neighborhood, goes to a different neighborhood. And then you don't have much contact with them anyhow. But that, that is something that you cannot foresee and you cannot prevent. However, keeping uh, friendships for a long time is easy if you are polite, nice, tolerant, friendly, respectful, right? Can good manners get your job? Yes, many times people are very nice and uh, the boss pays attention and they give you a job. So for that reason, it's good to practice good manners and to have a good behavior so that people may see that you do a good job, that you are nice, and then they will keep you there. Okay, what are some principles of courtesy that we must follow? Say good morning, say hello, say goodbye, okay? And uh, that would be nice. How can good manners affect the job that you do. Well, actually, if you have good manners, you are tolerant, patient, kind, nice, people will like you. And of course, uh, you will feel more comfortable. Then the job that you will do will be much better. Okay? So uh, what else can we say? Well, we can also say that good habits are related to good manners. And good manners are also related to etiquette at work and netiquette. Netiquette is the same etiquette except that it's online. Online, you should be respectful, tolerant, patient, kind, prudent. And of course, face to face, you should be the same. Now, the question is, are we perfect? No, we're not. We make mistakes. We make mistakes. However, uh, we we can ask for we can ask for forgiveness and continue because life is beautiful, no? So, like I said, uh, being nice to others helps us. Sometimes it is difficult for us to be nice, especially if we are in a hurry because we don't have time or because we are under stress. We teachers are usually under stress, so we have to be careful to be nice. Sometimes because we are tired can be rude and uh, we don't realize that we are offending others until later. So we have to think before we act and be nice and friendly and okay? polite. That is something that we should by all means, try to practice, okay? So by all means. Then again, are we perfect? No, we are. So we are trying to be the best version of ourselves, but that doesn't mean that we are going to be perfect, but we can try, okay? We can try so that other people may feel fine around us and that we may be at peace with other people, okay? So that is the idea. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Thank you very much for attending tonight. Thank you for tuning in, okay? I will be seeing you tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Tomorrow is the last day of the week. So it's going to be a nice, nice day. Esto ha sido el programa de inglés para el trabajo. Good night.